back to Super Paper Mario. Today, this is episode 3 of Super Paper Mario. Last time, we went ahead and... Last time, we went ahead and beat 1-2 and 1-3, and now we're moving on to 1-4. Somehow, Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Ahead was a sprawling complex of roofs rising out of the sand. Thankful for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured deeper inside. They were the very ruins Old Man Watchet had warned them about. What dangers lurked in the shady corridors ahead? <coughs> Alright. Chapter 1-4! Monster of the Ruins! Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is near. Wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. So here is the old ruins. <laughs> If I do miss anything, I'll I will be coming back at a later point. Another life shroom. Life shrooms are very good in this game, even though they don't restore as much HP as they did in the original Paper Mario and in Thousand Year Door. In Super, it only restores 5, whereas in the other games, it restores 10. It's not as good, even though this is a platformer and those were RPGs. <laughs> yep, this is just a traditional fire bar room, and we wouldn't be able to access this door. dimensions as it rotates. It might just help you get somewhere. And in this case, yes it does. So we go through the door. We've got these two things. You cannot kill these things. Even if you pick one up, you'll just end up hurting yourself even if you pick it up. Because if you go and look at it with Tippy. For some reason, it enjoys blowing left and right all day. You can't beat it. You can only avoid it. It will move until it hits a wall, then it will come right back at you. Yep, you can't kill me. But, eh, it's not that much of a problem. Let's use this key and proceed further into the ruins. There's a save block. Let's go ahead and save progress. There is a little glitch here that you can do, but sadly I can't see it. And then you go to the Yeah, that's a glitch used in the speedrun to skip doing something that allows you to get something. Sense. Let's just go through the door. 
then down here there's a button. This is just to teach you that you can pick up enemies and throw them at stuff. And yep, something just happened outside the room. Alright, now that that's done, we go back out here. Go up here. I want to see if I can get this without the throw. Nope. I'm sad. Oh well, let's just pick it up with the throw. And you can't get in there. But there is a question mark block here. From it, you got a, a single coin. How sad. <coughs> oh well. Further into the ruins we go. Nope, nothing suspicious. Other than this door in the air. Point to be. There's something there, I'll show it to you. Yep, there's a platform there, so now we can actually access the door. That is one convoluted way to store a key. What were these what were these ancients thinking thousands of years ago? style. I'm not just gonna jump on the switch and be boring. That is a lot of boldness. So we go ahead and so if we go ahead and press the switch. Magically they all start falling down. how they don't hurt Mario now. But here there, there's a set of switches, and where you get them is shown in 3D. So one, two, three, and four. And now, magically a staircase appears.
nothing back here. So, let's just press on forward. Now, this is one of my favorite moments in the game. Warning! He's so great, he needs five windows to open. Shout out to you if you get that reference. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Wait, scan initialized. Red cap detected. Blue overalls detected. Level 5 mustache detected. Incredible. Possible subject identification. But it is impossible. Hold your system searching database. We shop channel loading icon. Man, I miss that service. Search complete. One positive match. System overload. Legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Cracktail. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. Ahaha. <laughs> it won't be that easy. Oh no. Who speaks? <coughs> so very nice to meet you, and your mustache. I am Complex Master of Dimensions, the pleaser of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. I know you. You're that. It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. Much better. Now you and this robotic guardian spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time. When he snacks on you, for you are the snack. Ciao. <coughs> <coughs> what did he just be? I am air. Press any key to restart. System not found. Insert install list. Disk not found. Please confirm. Disk cover is closed. Read error. Insert boot disk in front of no response, system may be busy with many answers long. Application error, save your work equipment. You lost everything. Way to go, genius. Waiting for processes. 404 computer hands to smart on. Dip threat. Threat level upgraded to Jelly Roll 1. Detonation imminent. Feeble blip. C run query under the vision. C run insult generator. Results go away, Yeti lip. Control delete. That was a lot of words, but behold, or that's Fractale, the robotic guardian of the pure heart. It's quite enormous. Max HP is unknown, attack is one. It can fly and swoop down with its big open mouth. But I think the antenna like horn atop its head is the weak spot. I think you're gonna need to use throw to hit it. So yes, this is Fractail. He's got he's got two very easy attacks to dodge. This first one you just gotta make sure that that you just move away from that antenna where his weak spot is. So if we pick these guys up and throw them at his antenna, you need, to, you need to throw a certain number of these at his antenna. But now here, there is a way to actually skip having to get back on him again. If you jump like that, you can actually skip having to do that attack again. Do the exact 
exact same process. So, grabbing these guys, I'm gonna get another one of you. And this is a very easy way to beat the fight. This is a very easy way to finish the fight. System crash! Oh yeah, also I think you need to hit his antenna nine times. System crash! I I have malfunctioned. What have I done? Hero, hero, ears behind him. I'm sorry. Shame circuit is smoldering. Please, we must save our world. No! We'll never forget you, Fractail. Rip in pieces, Fractail. 20XX to 20XX. So now, a door has appeared. Now we're here. Welcome, hero. My name is Merlumina. Ooh. waiting for 1,500 years. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have in fact. That's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Gnosticus. Nobody knows who authored the Dark Book, yet foretold the events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work, and they created the Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small institute. At that time, I was young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men. And you see, my life set sail toward a male strum of love. You see, I asked one out, but however, it was well, you know. Basically, it, and then I said, and he said, and then... to say on the matter. Were you listening carefully? Yeah. Excellent. I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. It is up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are the, our last and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save the world. We are all depending on you. So I 
I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. You could have forgiven me, Karen. I fail you. I've never felt much chunky in my life. <laughs> so our hero is real. Yes, forced to be reckoned. A stage with the rocks. Consult it and learn where the hero will go next. We'll lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees. Yeah. Yeah, I already sent Mimi to a site pick for that purpose. This pleases him, like excellent work, Stasia. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate the evil. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart. Let's count luck when this hero is yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that, but for now, we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chunks, you out a sec? Yeah, so some minions in the Bowser organization are still rusting assimilation. So I'm heading out to squash the resistance. Well, I'm going, I want you to stay here. Yeah, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance, okay? Side. Instead, <coughs> what? How did I end up napping here? Wait, didn't that nasty count Black try to make me marry Bowser? Luigi, <laughs> Luigi, Bowser? Anybody there? Uh, no, they're. Bowser? Oh, and the guy with the mustache. I think he had a green tux on or something. Yeah, Luigi, that's the guy. We don't know where we end where he ended up, you know. Thing is, most of us minions got all brainwashed by that black guy's assistant. Yeah, everybody's half This is not safe here. We've gotta clear this area now. Private Koopa here will escort you, okay? You guys make a break for him. What about you? What am I gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left him. Leave no coop behind. Good luck out there, princess. Hail Bowser! Farewell. Okay, lady, we gotta evac the zone. Let's roll. Yes, so if you hold two in the air, this will be important for later. She can float with her parasol. So let's go forward. You, give up. There's no hope for escape. All hail the glorious count. Do not resist. Submit to his rule. Love it. What's this insubordination? Johnson, I am your captain. Drop and give me 20. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to tell you that your orders mean nothing. See, they've already sworn eternal allegiance to Count Fleck, okay? And now you need to. So go ahead. So I'll just go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwashing. You just messed with the wrong Koopa. I serve Bowser. You tell this count. <laughs> There, isn't that better? So listen, there are still a few problem minions that haven't sworn allegiance. You, be a lamb and round them up for me, okay? Thanks. Yes, ma'am! Oh man, this is going down real fast. Did you see that? They even broke the captain. Look, lady, if they find us, it's game over. We gotta clear this area stat. 
I gotta cut the footage for a moment. So I'll come back to you when I'm done here. Sorry about that, everyone. That was perfect timing. Now Peach is asleep. All right, let's go. <coughs> what are you doing? Sorry if I'm slow with you. I don't want to freak you out, but I'm sort of moved now. So let's guide to the bottom of the stairs. Now there's a door there. Hold up, lady. Our intel showed a ton of hostiles behind that door. This route's a no-go. We're gonna have to find another way out. That's a unique piece of dialogue that a lot of people don't take the time to show off. Alright, let's go. any good. Let's turn around and keep looking. Oh, turn back? Yeah, no, your friend there had it right. This is your dead end. Who are you, anyway? Find cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. Ugh. All hail Count Black. Wow, princess, you sure are lucky. I thought the Wedding explosion, finish you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road and your luck runs out right here. It's time you came on over and got with the program. Come and serve the count. Never! Yeah, that's great and all, but my hypno powers gotta say otherwise. Just sit tight a sec, okay? Cause I've gotta brainwash you real quick. What? That wasn't on my schedule. Where'd she go? Well, that's really not a deal breaker. Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. And it doesn't matter where she runs, since all worlds are about to fall. <clears throat> and so, I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Ugh. Uh, you're awake at last? Where am I? Is this a human's home? Ugh! Don't wiggle like that. I found you at the cliff base. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? No one knows you. I am of the tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day, that was the day our tragedy was set in motion. Now we're back in Flipside Magic. If you got a pure heart, you can choose to visit specific sections in each chapter. First, to Merlin's place. Ah, what the heck, I have no need for an elevator. Yeah. 
Absolutely no mention of Merlar. She was the one who wrote the Life of Gnosticus to counteract the Dark One. But Lumina and those who followed her built this town. They are why we are here. M Master Merlin! B -b -b bad news! What is it? Get a hold of yourself, lad. You see. Out of the sky! What? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the world? I don't know. Please, get down the elevator and come up there to see her. So it shall be. You, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. <laughs> and there is absolutely. questioning why he's freaking out. This makes no sense. This makes no sense why no one is questioning why he's freaking out. <coughs> oh well, up we go. Um, yeah, I was just looking up at the tower and she fell out of nowhere. Could this be? Well, what's the matter? Oh, Princess Peach. So this is the princess that Count Blick kidnapped. Yeah. <coughs> well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time. Of that we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious, and she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Oh, I know. Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. I am sure she knows a warming and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we will be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now, off with you. Find Saffron the chef on the first floor. So now we have a new task. On to the first floor, off to the first floor we go. Now, I have a fire burst here. Now, this fire burst is going to be pretty important for what we're doing. So, if you go ahead, go down. Hey, you! Ooh, Mama, did I get some interesting info from a buddy of mine? I love this guy. He swore me to secrecy, but you look like you can keep quiet, so I'll tell you. And now, I blow your mind. Eat mushrooms to restore your HP! Got that? Did you hear me? That's some prime info, huh? Keep it under your hat. Aw, oh, I thought he was gonna say the other thing. Okay. Now I blow your mind. Ah, Sparkle sparkles on the other side. Here she is. So if we go ahead and look at her bio. That's Saffron, the master chef. Bring her ingredients and she'll cook them up. She worries about youth food culture and is like a mom to everyone in town. Welcome to Sweet Smile. Oh, sugar, this is within that little frown right upside down. 
What? A friend of yours is out cold. Oh, mercy. Hmm? Well, listen here, sugar. She sounds like she needs some spicy soup. All I need is a fire burst to make a pot of soup and warm her up in a jiffy. That's why I got the fire burst back at Bastovius' house. Some stores sell fire burst, so just check the shelves wherever you like to shop. You bring me one, sugar, and I'll make you some tasty spicy soup. Oh my, looks like you already have a fire burst, don't you now? Aren't you the enterprising one? Hand it over and I'll whip up some spicy soup. Let's go ahead and give her... Uh, so sugar, you want me to create a dish for you with fire burst? One spicy soup, coming up. Ooh la 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 la, yum! Put it in your thumb. Sorry about the witch, sugar, but it turned out just mm. right. There's the spices in Sip with a flame through the spoon. Mm. Let's let the wake up just that sleeping beauty of yours, sugar. Get to her just as quick as you can. Mm. Oh, okay. I was gonna cook some stuff, but oh well. Let's go off. Let's go back up and wake Princess Peach with the spices. Save just for good luck. I just ate the most delicious thing. I had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Oh, hey. oh Mario, you're okay? Mm -hmm. But where exactly are we? Mm -hmm. This is Flipside. Mm -hmm. Okay, and who are you? Mm -hmm. My dear, I am called Merlin, and that is what is known as a pixel. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you would tell us more. Oh, yeah. <coughs> and then before I knew it, I awoke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. Well, my dear, that is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? <coughs> mm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. I just hope they're safe. Hmm. Merlin, what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next. So it's been. There are still more heart pillows to be found in Flipside, you know. When you find the next heart pillow, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do so, a door to a new world containing the next pure heart will appear. And my intuition tells me that next door may do lead you to the mysterious Burly. Like Pistovius and I, Burly is one of the ancients. We are like long lost cousins. Yes, I have heard that Burly has long guarded an ancient and secret treasure. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next beer heart we seek. I must tell you, Life of Nosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So, we just need to find this Merlia person, is that it? Oh, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself. You only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. Well, I can't just sit here and let everyone else go off to save the world now, can I? After all, the void that is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. So I'm going, and that's final. I've made my decision. Peach has joined your party. Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well. <coughs> I guess we need to find the next heart pillar. Mm, this princess is headstrong, to be sure. How very refreshing. I insist you take this. 
You got an old key, a key to a door somewhere in town. There are secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the keys when covering them. Quite literally, in fact. Please, use this key wherever it is in town. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. I will continue to keep the light prognosticus and look for any clues that may help. I am sure that musty old tome has much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Now, Mario, please teach. Do all you can to stop the Count's evil plans. Let's go, Mario. Come on, Tippy. Yeah. When playing as Princess Peach, you can use her umbrella in a few ways. Press and hold two while jumping to, slowly, to float slowly down. In addition, press the D-pad down to use your umbrella to guard against enemy attacks. When you want to change your character, choose him, choose him or her on the menu screen. So now... I feel like Peach has higher jump than Mario, which is definitely saying a lot. This is Peach's jump, and Mario's jump. Actually, no, I think Peach might just be a little less. Good day. Let's go to the shop, and let's get a couple of things. Um, what's this? A super shiny silver medal worth 100, 1,000 points. You will learn what those are later. And there's a gold bar. A gold bar worth around 100 coins. Um, yeah. So, I am going to... Actually, no. Let's just go to the next area where it's actually quite important. So... Down here, we go back to Saffron's. She pretty much has a normal dialogue. Okay, so I am going to cook a gold shroom. And... There! Now let's see what it made. You get a fried shroom plate, a basic shroom dish. Restores 15 HP and cures poison. Remember, sugar. Find the ingredients and them on the meat. Now you can find various cooking discs throughout the world, and yeah. So if we cook a turtle leaf right here, if we were to go ahead and cook this turtle leaf. It would go ahead and make Koopa tea. Koopa tea? What a ripoff! It did nothing. It did nothing different. So if we go down and cook a shroom shake. We get. Another fried shroom plate. Let's see what a long last shake makes. Probably not anything special. In fact, it might just be another fried shroom. Done! And that's another fried shroom plate. What a rip off. Alright, well, I'll just tell you, this key goes to somewhere on the second floor. So right here, we press on... Oh wait, that's right, you gotta swap the floor. Let's 
save right here. I'm Mario. <coughs> and use this key here. The door opens. And now you can access this part of the flip side. And there is actually <coughs> stuff here. Now you can't quite break these blocks yet, so you're gonna have to wait until until then. <laughs> Flip side out, skirts ahead, monster advisory. Plus, just jumpy, jumpy, bouncy, bounce. <laughs> and go on this way. There is not anything here. Just a bunch of stuff that is going to come in handy for later. Just not now. Now, let's go down the pipe. And down here. Flip into 3D. My flip gauge is about to run out. Now, this is an easy way to grind. This is an easy way to grind experience. And I get knocked in here. Great. way of grinding experience. And up there is a heart pillar. So, yep. Let's go up here. Swap to Princess Peach. Heart pillar head. Yep. So now we float across with Princess Peach. We can reach the heart pillar. Now, up on the top of Flipside, a new door has appeared. Now, this episode has actually been quite long. My original plan was to go on and do one for this episode, but this episode has gotten rather long, so what I'm going to do instead is leave it off here. I'm going to leave it off at... I'm going to leave it off right at Merlin's house. And, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it off at Merlin's house. So, let's go up. And this way. Go here. I'm going to end off the episode at Merlin's house. See you next time.